Today, pupunta tayo sa Cagayan Valley on board one of the biggest bus companies in Luzon. Sasakay tayo sa isa sa mga deluxe buses nila at titingnan natin kung maganda ba silang sakyan, mabilis ba sila from point A to point B. Let's find out in this video. Hello guys and welcome to our very first North Luzon road trip. Nandito tayo today sa Sampaloc Terminal ng GV Florida Bus para pumuntang Cagayan Valley. GV Florida is one of the biggest bus companies in North Luzon. Malaki yung kanilang fleet size and at the same time marami silang nasaserve na regions. Kagaya ng Ilocos, Cordillera at Cagayan Valley. Unlike our previous road trips, today magdi day trip tayo para makita natin yung mga dadaanan. Dadaan tayo sa Edlex, Esitex, Tiplex, Pangasinan Nueva Ecija Road, Dalton Pass, Hanggang sa marating natin ang bayan ng Aritao Nueva Vizcaya. Our bus for today is GT92. It's a Hino RMDM 14 bus made by Del Monte Motors back in 2015. Tara, sakay na tayo! One hour and 30 minutes later, nag-exit sa Dao itong GD92, which means Dao Terminal yung ating first stop. Tinanong ko yung crew kung madalas bang tumitigil dito yung mga day trips nila. And they said yes, mapabiyahing Ilocos man daw or biyahing Cagayan.
After a few hours of travel, narating natin tong pura exit. Some of you might have heard the name Pink Pantry. Ito yung isa sa mga official stopover ng GB Florida and one of their branches is located here in Pura. Doon yung next stop natin para mag-lunch. So ito yung loob ng pink pantry. And as you can see, malawak at maliwalas yung loob. So dito mayroong restaurant na nagsaserve ng rice meals at convenience store na nagtitinda ng mga snacks. Regarding naman sa rice meals, for a whopping 160 pesos, ito yung pwede nyo makuha. One cup of rice, half meat, tsaka half vegetables, which in my opinion is a bit expensive. After a few minutes, bumalik na tayo sa bus para sa continuation ng ating road trip. If you have any suggestions para sa mga susunod nating biyahe, let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Twenty minutes after we departed Pura, narating natin ang Tiplex Carmen Exit. Dito lumulusot ang JB Florida papunta sa Cagayan Valley. And mas malayo ito compared sa exit kagaya ng Victoria at Pura. Pero walang traffic, kaya minsan mas mabilis dumaan dito. Madadaan na natin ang mga bayan ng Balunggaw at Umingan sa Pangasinan hanggang sa marating natin ang Maharlik Highway sa San Jose City. At the moment, nandito na tayo sa San Jose City, Nueva Ecija. And as you can see, umuulan. Sadly, hindi na tumigil yung ulan mula dito. But, malapit na tayo sa pinaka-exciting na part ng biyahe natin. A few kilometers away from here is Dalton Pass, which is the gateway to Nueva Vizcaya and Cagayan Valley. And it's one of the most dangerous highways in Luzon kasi napakaraming zigzag sa part na to na madadaanan natin. Now just sit back, relax, at enjoy lang natin yung view natin mula dito.
So one thing na masasabi ko dito sa biyahe natin is mabilis in terms of speed. Pero dahil napakalayo ng mga dinaanan natin, matagal yung naging travel time. Siguro kung dumaan tayo sa Victoria Exit or sa Pura, malamang nandun na tayo ngayon sa destination natin. Anyway, pakiat na tayo ngayon sa Santa Fe at dito na nagsisimula yung Dalton Pass. So guys, enjoy the view! Finally, after about 2 hours, nadaanan natin ang Dalton Pass. Welcome to Cagayan Valley, guys. And right now, nandito na tayo sa bayan ng Santa Fe, Nueva Vizcaya. And few minutes away from here is the town of Aritao, which is our destination for today. Now, normally, kaya ng 4 to 5 hours ang Manila hanggang dito sa Santa Fe. But since dumaan tayo sa Dao Terminal, Pangasin ang Nueva Ecija Road, at inabutan din tayo ng malakas na ulan sa San Jose City, tumagal ng halos 7 hours yung biyahe natin. Now, would I recommend GV Florida to anyone? The answer is yes. Bukod sa maganda yung seats at meron ding onboard restroom, safe tayong transport papunta sa ating destination. 